and <laughs> now has moved to the high point of trade. It Devi's Labs, it's a seven and a half percent. What explains this move? Well, you know, it's interesting because the street has started watching export data for a lot of these API injectable companies quite closely. So it's not only Divi's, but the likes of Loris as well as the others, say something like a Gland, which are all buzzing on the back of this export data, which gets released. Now, uh, for Divi's, uh, the data that I've sourced is that the export data ex Molnupiravir for Divi's Labs in March is showing a recovery. It's coming at $92 million versus $70 million year on year. This is the highest that we've seen since Jan 2020. March data is higher than the run rate of around 15 to 60 million dollars in the past few months. Now, a couple of key points is that the bump up is likely to be aided by higher custom synthesis sales. There is supplies of API of an API supply of a heart drug to Novartis, which could have aided sales, and that could be to the tune of up to around 15 to 17 million dollars just in the month of March. Now, March data, remember, could also be due to a year end factor. We have to see if it's a one off and whether it sustains at these levels are not going forward. But the larger uh, trend of a recovery is something that the street is enthused by. Now, remember that March 2023 data had little to no Molnupiravir sales. And this is compared to $52 million, which was a peak amount of sales that they sold of Molnupiravir in March of 2022. That's just an additional piece of information. Now, just want to point out that for Divi's labs, you're also seeing this kind of run up because the stock has corrected very significantly. It's down 9% year to date, down 33% from its 52 week high though it's gained around 13% from its 52-week low. So it's trading at around 38 times versus a peak valuation of close to 60 times on a one-year forward basis. What is the street going to watch for in terms of the Q4 numbers going forward is going to be uh, the margin recovery because that had fallen to around 24% in the previous quarter. And whether or not there's going to be a sustained recovery in margins is the other big trigger for Divi's labs. Talking about pharmaceuticals, Lupin has launched their regional reference lab in uh, the Bangaluru market. So that stock is in focus on account of the diagnostic business. This is a part of the diagnostic business. The company has indicated that for diagnostics is not going to be more than around 5% of their total sales. So nonetheless, uh, important news coming in on the diagnostic business for Lupin. They've made a headway in the Bangaluru market. Okay, well, uh, let's move from medicines to sugar. The price of raw